Welcome back guys. Uh, before I go any further, my lipstick is a tribute to tonight's episode. I found it so heartwarming, especially Dominica and Jack's final date guys. So in just in the spirit of the Italian team like date, I decided to put on my Ruby Woo by MAC and I hope you like it. So let's just get right into it guys. Olivia and Jackson have decided that they're going to stay on and continue on to see final week through. Yay, nay, I really do not care if they stay or they go. You know what? Better for us to leave our TV screen. I'm going to be giving you some uh, math golfs uh, later, uh, later on. If you're confused, I'll bring you up to speed too. Last night was the reflection week, right? And part of the challenging task was for uh, the couples to receive, you know, feedback from their core participants in the experiment. We all know that there's no love lost between Olivia and Jackson as well as Jack and Dominica. If you missed the episodes, please just go down and you will see all my recaps and just catch up on what has been happening in the last few weeks. Um, this was just what producers have decided will stir up more drama between these two. Why? Again, TV ratings, of course. And I decided to make these two write uh, letters to each other uh, with the tax added to the letter to help stir them to the right part or back together, as the case may be. And it was this task that, uh, this the task of separation that was set by Dominica and Jack. Uh, to break a codependency code pattern that in their own perspective is is, uh, is plaguing their relationship. They saw Madame Olivia, you know, decide she wanted to quit the show, she's had enough and um, I guess three days before the show comes to a complete end, you quit. How dramatic. And just talk about exaggerated uh, uh, drama for me. She's uh, exactly just that, exaggerated drama. She does it just to, you know, get attention and notoriety however that suits her best you know it is Olivia we're talking about here anyway welcome back guys to another episode of Married at First Sight right here on Posh Cat Eyes Unfiltered please thumbs up like share whatever you want to do to promote help promote my channel please do we are on our final date tonight after two hectic bonds and um of course these two hectic bonds have just felt like 10 years in uh, the lives of these guys I talk about hectic right i don't know if uh they're ready for how hard marriage is but um welcome to the club guys you get a trial a trial taste of how it feels like um this final date will prove crucial as it gives the couples the opportunity to define what it is they have together and dig a little deeper as to what life outside of the experiment would look like because essentially you're not going to be in the bubble forever you're going to move out and you know start living your lives either together or separately however that suits you both but you know what let's just get right down to the date we start off with dom and, dom and jack dom and jack um these two are just you know lovely they, they make for good tv guys so it's dominica and final and uh, jack's final date complete with a surprise box uh, box from Jack. What's in the box? It was a pretend Italy in New South Wales. Just in case it isn't obvious, Dom is Italian and Jack is also Italian. And Dominica has never been to Italy. What? Um, it's not nice that you haven't been to your motherland, Dominica. And Jack is about to, you know, give her the experience and uh, what uh, it feels or what it will be like for her to, or for, for when she eventually decides to take the leap and vacation in Italy. A beautiful dress to look the part was a gift from Jack to her. Very lovely red dress, you can see that right now. Um, let's just get into this. So it starts with Do, uh, uh, La Dolce Vita. I'm not sure I'm getting my um, Italian right, but yeah, La Dolce Vita was the team. And um, it, Jack just, for me, Jack outdid himself here. He outdid himself with this date. It was like a capsule of what looks like, of what it looks like in Italy, right in New South Wales. It, it's just what I can see. So beautiful, picturesque, you know, really beautiful. And yes, there was gelato. Gelato, you can't forget an Italian treat or an Italian vacay without your gelato. Uh, a Fiat, which is an Italian classic car, was next on his surprise box from, uh, you know, it was just, it was just overwhelming for um, uh, Dominica. They rode to the sunset 
figuratively uh, with an alfresco dinner to top the evening red roses candles you know Dom was just blushing for days mm -hmm. um, the conversation was light and easy and they got serenaded and uh, they danced like no one was watching it was mwah, bellissimo <laughs> So uh, next up, Selena and Cody, they were off to Hunter Valley for a hot air balloon ride. Selena was more excited to have the date than Cody. Again, it's typical of this of these two. Their relationship has just been a roller coaster of emotions just from one side. It didn't take long before Selena's insecurity, you know, came out to play. She wanted to know if Cody was in it for the long term. And uh, Cody had only thought as far as he could see his fingers, literally. That wasn't far enough, you know, and uh, Selena felt he had trips planned for next year and uh, Hasn't even given a thought about their relationship. That's supposedly more important, which is the present um, It just felt very awkward and I felt for her because she has literally picked up the relationship from the get-go She has done all the loving and it's not sustainable when you are the one doing all the loving in a relationship At some point you're eventually going to crumble you're going to give up and like you'll be done with it And this is exactly where she's at. She isn't getting anything from Cody. Cody is very blank There is nothing coming out from that guy and it is hard for Selena, which is you know I mean, I'm like I, for me. I'm I'm not a Selena fan, but I can see where she's coming from Cody is happy, happy to you know just be in a bubble of by himself which is not good but what do I know Selena didn't stop with the questions she persisted the hot air balloon ride just felt like there was hot pressure just coming out from everywhere it wasn't fun at all I'm wanting to know where his emotions is at giving it giving it their last date obviously granted she needs to know before they both go their separate ways and then meet for the final vows and she's not getting anything uh, uh, Cody did, then decided he was got to, uh, he was going to um, not give her a concrete answer just yet because again he really doesn't know he is still trying to figure it out himself that's his, if he is making an effort to really figure it out because I really don't know remember guys it's two months this this experiment was just you know very it was rushed harsh and fast two months in a pressure cooker it's a lot you know to to take and a lot to want to start giving out or looking for long term so again there's a bit of leeway or excuse for Cody to say I don't feel ready just yet in making that um, big call or big emotional long term uh, commitment but it's it is what it is no one commits that deeply in two months right absolutely and selena actually wants to get married like last night so there you go cody quickly turned the tables around and uh turned it on her literally trying to find out where she is at and which in fact is actually clear she is in it and she wants you to you know redefine the relationship so that she can commit fully or should I say just let go of all of the um, inhibitions she's probably holding on to or whatever she's not showing you she probably will show you more I really don't know final date or just kind of went pear shit from here on the accusation of um, being gaslighted came up these two have just got issues they went from almost yelling at each, at each other and yelling each other's head off to hugging yeah there's more work to be done for these two and I really cannot tell you how um, confusing it is <laughs> even for a viewer <laughs> it get worse guys I'm glad I actually got off the most exciting part of the episode which was Dominica and Jack out of the way because it just went downhill from here Tamara and Brent well we're not surprised with this uh, situation or turn of events so Brent is the driver for tonight's date right according to Brent the date is bespoke tailor made for Tamara well the day starts off with a dog cuddle and a play day you know Tamara loves dogs so it was something that she really gave a tick of approval she liked the fact that you know um, Brent taught the, the date through by incorporating what she really likes and desire and just makes her you know happy uh, I guess I started off well so we'll take that good 
It's on to the next uh, surprise. Brent tried to surprise Tamara by asking her to put a blindfold on her. Tamara was like not having a bow of that. She didn't want her eyelashes to be ruined. And she said flat out, no way, hell to the no. You ain't putting that in my eyes, you're putting that on me. I'm just gonna close my eyes and you lead the way to this your naughty surprise. They eventually got to, uh, to a boat or a yacht uh, to hit the Sydney Harbor. Brent, for Brent, I felt like it feels so much like Dubai. He's been to Dubai, he's lived in Dubai. So for me, it's like a Dubai uh, boat cruise kind of feels for me. And it was beautiful, very elegant. Table manners etiquette almost veered the night left because they were arguing about everything. But it didn't take long again. We saw them just, it crumbled spectacularly guys he crumbled spectacularly the question that came up or that started it all was what do you regret uh, about this whole um, um, experiment what have you regretted what's been your big regret if you're going to put it that way and Tamara says she doesn't uh, have any regret she doesn't like um, feeling any regret after something has happened um, it, they just went back, back and forth they started arguing Brett's uh, ego became a factor and then his mood swings or lack thereof. They started to compare each other's mood swings. Why one gender shouldn't be moody and the other gender should be moody. And before you could say ding dong, the dinner came to an abrupt end. They didn't even wait for the main course. Entry was just the only thing I saw. Oh my God. The, the comment just went left, right and they started arguing. I just felt like the iceberg shrunk and crashed Titanic, guys. Our yacht was just afloat, like just on life, on life support. It was on life support here. There was just nowhere to go from then on. And uh, it happened so fast that um, Brent walked out, walked out, walked out on Tamara and walked out on the date. And Tamara just started screaming at the camera and was just like, I cannot deal with that. He's too low for me. He hasn't got a career. I came here fully uh, thinking I was going to get a man that was, you know, already uh, ready to go. He is a waiter. He wait tables. Oh my God. What did she not say about this guy? She was like, I gave up my career for this. You know, it was just sad to watch it was sad to watch and you could see how dejected def uh, deflated Brent was as he walked off the, the yard uh, walked on to Sydney Harbour and that was it guys it just you know what I wish they left the show like weeks before because the writing has clearly been on the wall they are not compatible they are not good for each other they will never ever get along now let's just walk into Ella and Mitch beach team like dates. So Mitch started off the day by saying a towel is the you know is the only clue he was going to give Ella for the date he's he's got planned. Well, when you see a a, a beach towel, you just know okay, we're well, definitely going to the beach. There's no there's no force. There's nothing on my hair. So without saying much, uh, Mitch, you know they all went out, you know drove out to the beach. And Mitch's plan was to introduce Ella, you know, to the Gold Coast lifestyle, which is beach, beautiful weather, jet ski, surfing, suntan, everything that, you know, beautiful people do. <laughs> um, two, beautiful, two, two beautiful people on a jet ski, you know, it is a Kodak moment right there. What could go wrong? It didn't last long as the mood just went from fun to serious real quick. A launch tent was set up with champers, Martini, seafood platter, you know, all the work. So Mitch did, you know, pull up all the stuff for this date. And um, he even got her a lilac dress, which was really beautiful and very summery. And, uh, you know, I thought it was going to make everyone feel good, right? But no, not with Ella and Mitch. They've got a lot to, you know, decide on a lot. They've got a lot of figuring out to do before uh, final vows. And on sure Ella wanted clarity and you know wanted to label what it is they have this proved difficult for Mitch uh, he hasn't even uh, thought through again just like Cody he hasn't got a long-term plan for the relationship and it was ridiculous according to him to think that far ahead due to the volatility that is human emotions and the experiment and the relationship or relationship as a whole Reigniting Ella's insecurity. Damn, 
I have to point out something here. Before the night came to an end, it didn't really, they didn't really give us much. It, it just went, I'm not getting anything from you. And that was it. It just ended there. I felt for Ella because she is into this guy. But Mitch doesn't really know exactly what he wants if he in fact ready for a relationship or a long term relationship. But we're going to find out whatever our decision they, they reach come final vows. It's not not long now. It's I'm not a couple episodes more. We're going to find out eventually what has befallen these two. Um, with final dates, you know, coming to an end, there was only one couple that I did not see. And that was um, Olivia and um, Jackson. I'm, I'm thinking maybe she decided she was going to put an embargo and not want um to shoot anymore it was just ridiculous because we didn't get to see anything and the trailer for uh, to, uh tomorrow's episode you know didn't show anything about their final date so is that they refused uh, they, they refused filming crew to come in and film them or they refused to participate in final date uh, i really don't know anyway tomorrow's episode it's gonna be the boys and girls girls night out and then a twist at the end where you see ex couple coming together for a spectacular drama packed dinner party so i don't know if i've missed, missed anything tonight but if i did i might you know recap again soon oh well stay safe guys and i'll be back soon bye